It's a known fact that obesity and the struggle with being overweight is a really large problem in our society today. Another problem is uh, having the perfect image, having the perfect skinny body. Some people are so unhappy with their weight that they're desperate to find any type of solution. And for some of those people, their problem is they don't want to work to find that solution. They just want a quick fix. One of the options for those quick fixes are diet pills. And people are unaware of how effective, dangerous, and potentially fatal these pills are. My major claim is diet pills are more harmful than helpful to consumers. What I'll be telling you about is how what advertisers do and say to convince us that diet pills <clears throat> are the best solution to our weight problems. Secondly, I'll be talking about how pills are even the pills that are clinically proven to work are still bad and unsafe. And the last thing I'll be talking about are the side effects that are that happen from taking these pills. Firstly, um, what advertisers do is make diet pills sound like the best thing ever. What they do is get celebrities with amazing bodies to be, to be their spokespeople. For example, this uh, diet pill called Quick Trim, they got Kim Kardashian, as you know, she has a great body, and her sisters to be the spokespeople, and they even got them to go as far as to say it actually worked and to blog about it. And eventually they were found out to be li all lies, and they were, that the company Quick Trim and the Kardashians faced a really expensive lawsuit after that. And other things that advertisers do is say that that um, people will lose weight in a really small amount of time if they use these pills, and that sounds great when you want to look great right now. And another thing is they mentioned that there's no diet, diet and exercise needed, and that sounds amazing. You can just take a pill and lose weight in no time. And sometimes these pills do work, but most of the time it just gets rid of water weight, and you'll eventually gain this weight back. And another hazard by doing this is you get severe dehydration, which is really bad. My other claim is even the pills that are clinically proven to work are still bad. The pill Xenical causes cramping, gas, and diarrhea and also reduces the body's absorption of vitamins, which is really bad. Another pill called Meridia raises blood pressure and heart rate, heart rate, which eventually leads to heart attacks and cardiac arrest. Um, from the statistics I got from my food diary, between February 1998 through March 2003, the FDA received reports of 49 deaths using the, this uh, pill. And even if this does work, even if you don't die using this, you'll eventually build up a tolerance in, within six months, so you'll go back to your original weight if you don't continue exercising or continue eating healthy. And more side effects from using these pills are constipation, headaches, dry mouth, and insomnia. More severe side effects are addiction, because in these pills they find some of them have amphetamines, they have the same chemicals antidepressants and anti-anxiety drugs have. So you'll eventually become addicted, and even if you stop using them, you'll still, your body will still crave them. And in the end, your habits won't be altered. You'll still want to eat unhealthy, you'll still not want to go to the gym, so you'll still be the same person. What are these pills going to really do? And from all this information, I still believe that diet pills are more harmful than helpful to all of its consumers.
All right, Jennifer, there are a couple of really strong parts of the speech, and then there are a few things that are problematic. Let's start with the stuff that worked well. You've got a very clear statement of what your proposition is, and there's an excellent preview of what the structure is going to be. I also thought you did a good job signposting, uh, at least on the first couple of points, uh, as you got to those points. I didn't think it was quite as clear on the third point as it probably should have been. So those are the strong things organizationally for the content of the speech. Uh, you also kind of explain the general issue and the content controversy so we know why we're listening to this and that's fine. Uh, it's the evidence that I think needs a lot more work. You've got some examples that you cite. You mentioned the Kardashians and the quick trim thing, but I don't really get a source citation on that. I'm not familiar with the case. I'd like to know some proof that they are uh, confirmed liars and that they have been found responsible for uh, these problems and they're having to compensate people uh, and that the drug doesn't work or and that it's dangerous. The only thing I've got is your say-so and you use them as the example, but I don't have any proof that that happened. Um, so I think that I know that you did some research on it, but you need to get that research into the speech. Uh, the same thing is true on a lot of the points. You make uh, claims about what the variety of drugs do, uh, and I don't get a source citation or any proof. It's just a general listing of things that people may have said about these things. On that last point, for example, you talk about some of them even have uh, amphetamines as their content, and people get addicted to them and all those kinds of things. Now. I don't know what you're reading, I don't know how timely it is, but I do know that about eight or nine years ago there was a big deal where all of the ones that had uh, amphetamines you know, in them were pulled from the market for the dangers that you're talking about, and so I'm not sure that that continues to be a problem. If it is a problem, you need to tell me what the drugs are and who's responsible for those things, and I'm not getting that information in the presentation. So the evidence, I think, is the part of the speech that needs the most work. You've got examples, but you're not giving us sources for those examples, and it sounds to me like you're kind of paraphrasing what's being said on the information instead of giving us direct quotes. Uh, the one thing that comes close to being um, you know, a, a, a pretty solid source citation is this information about um, you know, uh, the 49 deaths that were connected to this one use of the drug. And the source citation I got is my food diary, which I'm not exactly sure what that is, and I think that's something that you should qualify. So that's the one place that I thought that you did provide some source citation, and even then it was a little bit vague. So that'll be something to fix next time. All right, thank you.